yes good morning children we'll continue with these properties and then we'll do some problems that are the problems are very easy once you understand these properties the problems are very simple very easy to solve so we already discussed a cross b is mod a into mod b into sin of angle between a b into n cap like that and then a cross b is minus b cross a and then a cross a is zero when the two vectors are same cross product is zero a cross b is minus b cross a that means when you interchange the vectors you should change the sign and we also learned the determinant method so you understand follow that procedure correctly then problems becomes very simple we need that determinant everywhere in uh, next part also in scalar triple product also we need that determinant procedure so you first learn that properly okay next property is l a cross m b is equal to l m into a cross b like so in dot products also we have suppose i have 3a dot 4b then we'll just multiply these numbers 3 into 4 12 into a dot b like this we write no so in the same way here in cross product also it is the same you just multiply the scalars that is the real numbers and then take the cross product between the vectors now this property is like this we have a cross b mod a cross b is what mod a into mod b into sine of angle between a and b this is the formula that we have mod a cross b is equal to this now what is a cross b a cross b formula is mod a into mod b into sine of angle between a and b into n cap n cap but what is all this this all this you can write as mod a cross b so you can write this as mod a cross b into n cap mod a cross b into n cap so what is n cap n cap is equal to a cross b by mod of a cross b so the unit vector unit vector perpendicular to both the vectors here a and b are vectors remember so the unit vector perpendicular to both a and b uh, is given by a cross b by mod a cross b but we already know that if a and b are the vectors in this plane then n cap is one unit vector perpendicular to both a and b and minus n cap is also the unit vector per, it is also perpendicular to both a and b so plus n cap and minus n cap both are the vectors perpendicular to a and b so you, you have the formula the vectors the unit vectors the unit vectors perpendicular to both a and b are plus or minus n cap that is plus or minus a cross b by mod of a cross b this is how we de derive in first chapter in addition of vectors we have something else there we have plus or minus n cap is equal to a by mod a a by mod a we have this what is this this is the unit vector per, this is the unit vector in the direction of a in the opposite direction of a the unit vector in the direction of a is a cap a cap is equal to a by mod a this you have learned the unit vector in the opposite direction of a is minus a cap so minus a by mod a so the unit vectors parallel to a parallel to one vector is a by mod a plus or minus a by mod a that is regarding one vector here it is regarding two vectors and they are perpendicular the unit vectors perpendicular to the plane containing a and b is given by this formula this formula is very important you please learn <coughs> next one is this this we may not be using anywhere but for your understanding i am giving this formula so if the vectors alpha and beta instead of a and b we we have written the formula suppose a is a1 i plus a2 j plus a3 k b is a3 k and b is b1 i plus b2 j plus b3 k like that we have written a cross b as determinant of i j k and then a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 like this we have written so in if the, if they are not in terms of i j k if the two vectors a and b are in terms of some other vectors like this then the cross product is given by this formula you can just learn this now the next property next one is like theorem it is very important to just learn the formula and also the learn the formula and also the procedure 
you may get for four marks. So the next theorem states that the next theorem is for any two vectors, for any two vectors A and B, for any two vectors A and B, prove that, prove that mod of A cross B whole square, prove that mod A cross B whole square is equal to A square B square, A square B square minus A dot B whole square, A dot B whole square. So you can also write this as A dot A and then A dot B and then A dot B and then B dot B determinant like this. So A dot A is nothing but mod A square. A dot A is mod A square. B dot B is mod B square or B square. You have learnt in dot products. And then minus determinant. So minus AD minus BC. So A dot B whole square. This is the formula. The proof is very important and we'll be using this formula in one or two problems also. So when you use the formula, problem becomes simple. So otherwise you may have to or simplify a lot to solve that problem. So the proof is like this. So we'll take mod A cross B. Mod A cross B whole square. That is mod A cross B. What is mod A cross B? What is A mod of A cross B? Mod A into mod B into sine of angle between A and B. This is the formula now. So this whole square. Mod A cross B formula is this. We have seen just now. So by squaring we'll get mod a square into mod b square into sine square of a b sine square of a b so till here you can easily write now the next step to get this form is write sine square theta as 1 minus cos square theta that's all so if you can remember this point it is very easy to prove this theorem so sine square a b is 1 minus cos square of angle between a and b so now just to multiply so it is equal to mod a square into mod b square into 1 minus mod a square into mod b square into cos square of a b cos square of a b so when we write like this this is nothing but a square b square is nothing but a square and then this i can write as b square minus this i can write as mod a mod b cos of angle between a b whole square cos of angle between a b whole square so mod a mod b cos of a b is nothing but a dot b so i can write a square b square minus a dot b whole square you know the formula so it is a dot b whole square now you can also write this in the determinant form as a dot a a dot b and then again a dot b into a dot b and then b dot b so like this also you can write Learn the proof. The only point that you should remember here is just writing the formula of mod A cross B and then squaring. Well, after that, write sin square theta as 1 minus cos square theta. That's all. You can easily prove the theorem. Now, we'll do the problems. First, uh, pro prob we'll write some problems and then we'll solve. So, now we discussed all the properties of vector, uh, vector product. Now, we'll do the problems. Now, here in these problems, each problem is of different type. Each problem is of different type. So see the first one is mod P is equal to 2. Mod Q is equal to 3. Angle between P and Q is pi by 6. Find mod of P cross Q whole square. So here you have to use the definition of cross product. What is the definition? First problem mod p cross q what is mod p cross q formula see all these are again two marks type questions very very important some may you may get for four marks also so mod p cross q according to the formula is mod p into mod q into sine of angle between p and q this is the formula just now you have seen so mod p mod p is how much two two into three into two into three into sine of angle between them what is the angle sine pi by 6 pi by 6 means 30 degrees 180 by 6 sine pi by 6 pi by 6 means pi by 6 is 180 by 6 that is 30 degrees sine 30 degrees 3 to the 6 into sine 30 degrees what is sine 30 that is half 
6 into 1 by 2 that is 3. So now therefore mod of P cross Q whole square is equal to 3 square that is 9. So that is how you do the problem. First one. Now second one you are given A and B. Find mod of A cross B. So here A and B are given in terms of I and J. So I, J, K. So can you use this formula? You can find mod A. Mod A you can find out. Mod B you can find out. But again finding sign of angle between them is again difficult. So what we do is we have that formula now. What is it? A cross B. A is equal to 2I minus J plus K. And then B is equal to I minus 3J minus 5K. These are given. So A cross B is given by determinant of I, J, K and then write the coefficients of I, J, K here. First it is A no. For A vector you must write A coefficients. Second vector coefficient. First vector coefficients you should write in the second row. This is row. And second vector coefficients you must write in the third row. First row is always i, j, k. First row is always i, j, k. These i, j, k's only you will have. So 2 minus 1 and then 1 and then 1 minus 3 minus 5. So first write the determinant uh, matrix like this. Next you write like this i into. So see how we are expanding this i into. So delete the row. You should also think like this in your mind. When I am writing i, I should delete the row and column containing i. So, when I delete this row, this column and this row, what is left? Minus 1, 1, minus 3, minus 5. Finish. Next, minus j into. For second element, I should write minus j. So, minus j into delete the column and row containing j. So, this row and this column, if I remove, I will have 2, 1, 1 minus 5. So, I will write 2, 1, 1 minus 5. And then plus k into. For third one it is k. k. So, delete the row and column containing k. Then what is left? 2 minus 1, 1 minus 3. So, I will write 2 minus 1, 1 minus 3 like this. So, now what you do? You know how to write the determinant. AD minus BC. So, it is I into, when I multiply these two, it is minus 1 into minus 5. So, if I write it is minus 1 into minus 5. Minus 1 into minus 5 minus of 1 into minus 3. Like this. This value. Minus J into minus, okay, I will write here. I will write here. So, it is equal to I into minus I into minus 1 into minus 5 minus 1 into minus 3 plus J minus J into. For J it is multiply these two. 2 into minus 5. 2 into minus 5 minus again 1 into 1. 1 into 1. You need not write always like this. You can just directly write the value. 5 into 1 no. So 5 in minus 1 into minus 5. 5 minus of minus. So 5 plus 3 like that you can directly write. Because it is the first problem I am writing each and every step. So directly you can write the values. So k into 2 into minus 3. 2 into minus 3 minus of minus 1 into 1. So like this you can write. So, it is equal to i into, this is 5 plus 3, 8. So, it is equal to, I will write 8i and then this is minus 10 minus 1, minus 11. So, plus 11j, plus 11j and then minus 6 plus 1, minus, 3, minus 6 plus 1, minus, uh, minus 6 plus 1, minus 5. So, it is minus 5k. Minus 6 plus 1 minus 5k. So, like this we form. So, therefore, mod of a cross b is equal to mod of 8i plus 11j minus 5k. So, it is equal to root of 
8 square 64 plus 11 square 121 plus 5 square 25. So when you simplify you will get, uh, you should get 210, 210. So this is how you do the problem. So 5, 6, 10, 2, 4, 10, 11, yes, 210. So this is how you do the problem. When you have to find A cross B, write the determinant. You follow the procedure that we uh, that we have learned in the last uh, period. So follow the procedure, delete the row and column containing them, write accordingly, simplify. These things you need not write. You can just write the values directly and simplify. So this is how we do the second bit. Now third one is P is given, find P cross K whole square. So it is again directly you can do P cross K. So what is P cross K? P is equal to third problem. P is equal to X I or I will directly write P cross K is equal to X I plus Y J plus Z K cross K cross K. So take term by term cross product. X into I cross K. X into I cross K plus Y into J cross K plus Z into K cross K. Z into K cross K. You know K cross K is 0. So this is 0. And then J cross K is I. So Y into I. And this is I cross K. I cross K is minus J. It is it is not K cross I. K cross I is J. So I cross K is minus J. So this is equal to minus XJ or I will write first I term. So YI minus XJ. YI minus XJ. So now you take the modulus. So P cross K modulus is equal to modulus square. Modulus is root of root of y square plus minus x whole square. That is y square plus x square. So P cross K whole square mod of P cross K. Mod of P cross K whole square is x square plus y square. So that is how you do the problem. Okay, next. Because here you have only one vector k, we are directly doing it. Now here in this problem, fourth problem is again very important and very simple. Fourth problem. So how we do is, so in the fourth problem, compute a cross b. So we will take a cross of fourth one, a cross of b plus c plus b cross of c plus a plus c cross of a plus b. So you have the distributive property, just expand, that's all. A cross B, always write from left to right. A cross B plus A cross C. A cross B plus A cross C. And then plus B cross C plus B cross A. B cross A plus, again this is C cross A. C cross A plus C cross B. C cross A plus C cross B. Now see A cross B and here you have B cross A. <coughs> In B cross A when I interchange A cross B I will write as it is. And here it is A cross C. A cross C. That also will write as it is. We will change these things. B cross C also will write as it is. And then here in these last three we will change interchange them. Then, then we can we should change the sign. So it is minus A cross B and this is minus A cross C and then this is minus B cross C. Each of them will get cancelled and you will get 0. So you, you know when you interchange any two vectors in the cross product you should change the sign. So you are changing the sign simplifying you are getting the value as 0. Now in the fifth problem it is similar to this. This you can try J for seventh, sixth problem, you can just try 2 into 3, term by term, like how we did here. In the same way, you can simplify and you can get the answer. Now, fifth problem, it is again very important. A plus B plus C is equal to 0 is given to you. So, in the fifth problem, A plus B plus C is equal to 0 is given. Now, for the given equation, you just take cross product on both sides by A. First you take 
cross product a cross of a plus b plus c is equal to a cross of 0. So, taking cross product, you need not mention, taking cross product on both sides with a. So, you will, when you expand it is a cross a plus a cross b plus a cross c plus a cross c is equal to 0 vector. So, now you know a cross a is 0. Okay, then a cross b. You take this to that side, it is minus a cross c. Minus a cross c can be written as plus c cross a. So, you got a cross b is equal to c cross a. This is one equation. So, what did we do? We took the given equation and then we took cross product on both sides with a. And then we simplified, we got a cross b is equal to c cross a. Now, to prove these two, you take the same equation again and take cross product with B on both sides. So, this is all over. Now, we will take cross product with B on both sides. So, again, we will write A cross of A, uh, sorry, B. We are taking with B, no? So, it is B cross of A plus B plus C is equal to B cross of 0. So, now take the term by term cross product. So, according to distributive property, A cross B cross A plus B cross B plus B cross C is equal to 0. But B cross B is 0, no? So, B cross A I can write as minus A cross B because in the required equation, we have A cross B. So, we should also write this in A cross B. So, when, we, when I have to write in A cross B, I should interchange, I should interchange these two vectors so, we should change the sign. So, minus A cross B plus 0 plus B cross C is equal to 0. Now, take A cross B to that side or you will get A cross B is equal to B cross C. So, this is second equation. So, from 1 and 2, you can say that from 1 and 2, we get from 1 and 2, we get A cross B is equal to B cross C is equal to C cross A, hence it is proved, is equal to C cross A, hence it is proved. So, like this we do. This you can take as homework, you can just uh, try. And now we will continue with the next problems. Now we will continue with the problems. These two are again very important and very easy to solve. See, mod A, mod B are given, A, this problem is very important. So, seventh problem, you are given mod A as 13 and mod b as 5 and then this is a dot b a dot b is given as 60 it is not 60 degrees a is a dot b is 60 find mod of a cross b so we have first method is we have the formula mod a cross b whole square is equal to a square b square minus a dot b whole square suppose you are using this formula if you could remember the formula then it is very easy mod a square into mod b square this is the formula so what is mod a square 13 square 13 square into uh, mod b square is uh, uh, 5 square 5 square minus uh, this is a dot b whole square means 60 square 60 into 60 so 13 into 13 is 169 into 25 so 169 into 25 into and 5, 25, 9, uh, 225, 22, 25, 6, uh, 150, 60, 70, 2, uh, 25, 25, 35, 4, 2, 2, 5, I am ready. Okay. 4, 2, 2, 5 minus uh, 60 square is uh, 3600. So, minus 3600, 25, 6, okay, it is equal to 625. So, mod of A cross B is equal to root of 625. It is root of 625. Mod A cross B is equal to root 625, that is 25. Like this you can do. This is one method. Another method is, suppose you could not remember this formula. Then what you can do is, you can, what you can do is, you find out, you are given a dot b, no? a dot b is equal to 60 is given. Mod a is equal to 13 is given. Mod b is equal to 5 is given. 
So what do you do? From this you find out cos theta. Mod A mod B into cos of angle between A and B is equal to 60. So what is cos of angle between A and B? It is equal to 60 by mod A into mod B. 60 by mod A into mod B. So that is 60 by 13 into 5. So simplify. So that is 5 ones 5. Uh, 12, 12 by 13. So cos AB is 12 by 13. So from this you will get sine of angle between AB as sine theta is equal to root of 1 minus cos square theta. So that is or else you can just draw the diagram cos of angle between AB 12 and 13. So you can draw the right angle triangle adjacent side is 12 13 so it is 5 like this you will get so it is sine of angle between ab is so sine of angle between ab is uh, 5 by 13 5 by 13 so now you just uh, find out mod a cross b therefore mod a cross b is equal to therefore mod a cross b is equal to I'll write here mod a into mod b into sine of angle between a and b sine of angle between a and b this is the formula so mod a is 13 mod b is 5 mod a is uh, and then into sine of angle between a b is 5 by 13 so 5 13 13 gets cancelled it is equal to 25 so like this also you can do okay now next problem is they are parallel find the value of p so it is better for this problem it is better you can use the uh, uh, first chapter method. Suppose A is equal to, so for 8th problem the solution let A is equal to 4i plus 2p by 3j plus pk. And then suppose that the second vector B is i, I plus 2j plus 3k. Now when they are parallel, we know that A is parallel to B implies that 4 by 1 is equal to 2p by 3 by 2 is equal to p by 3. So, according to the first chapter method, this is the procedure. So, when you simplify, you will get 4 is equal to this 2, 2 by 1. So, 2p by 3 into 1 by 2 gets cancelled. So, you will get p by 3 is equal to... Uh, so, P is equal to, implies P is equal to 12. So, this is simple. If you have to use the cross product method, you can, you, you may be doing like this. Or, A is parallel to B. A is parallel to B implies that A cross B is equal to 0. A cross B is 0. That means, determinant of I, J, K and then what is this? 4, 4, 2P by 3 and then P. And then 1, 2, 3. Determinant is equal to 0. So, we will write like this. Now, find out the determinant. What is the determinant? This implies i into, then you multiply it is 2p minus 2p that is 0. Anyhow, it is 0 minus j into 4, 3 is a 12 minus p plus k into k into 4, 2 is 8 minus 2p by 3. 8 minus 2p by 3 is equal to 0. So now equate each one to 0. This is already 0. So 12 minus p should be equal to 0. And then 8 minus 2p by 3 also is equal to 0. Any one you can take. So you will get p is equal to 12. In both the cases you will get p is equal to 12. You can see it is 24 2p. So p is equal to 12. Hmm? So like this you can do the problem. Now take down this homework. A, B, C are given. Find A cross B dot B cross C. So, in the first, in the homework problems, first one, first find A cross B. First find A cross B. What is A cross B? I, J, K and then 2, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 2, minus 4. So, like this you find out. When you simplify, you will get A cross B as minus 2I plus 9J plus 5k. Okay. Next in the same way find out b cross c. Find b cross c that is in the same determinant form if you take you will get the answer as 6i minus 3j minus 3k. So like this you will get. 
Now what you do? Take the dot product of these two. So therefore, A cross B dot of B cross C. A cross B dot B cross C is equal to, you write both the vectors. Take the dot product and then write. So it will be equal to 16 to 2 minus 12. Uh, minus 12, 9, 3 is 27, minus 27 and then this is minus 15. Minus 15, simplify, that will be the answer. Even the second one is, you just find A plus B. First to find A plus B, then find A minus B. So in the determinant A plus B cross A minus B, you will write A plus B and then here you will write A minus B vector, simplify. Uh, you can complete this, next period we will continue with the problems.